release its report in the next month. A sacred symbol is being used for profit. Action 7 News was first to tell you how the Zia Pueblo got upset after a rock band used a Zia on its album cover. Now we've learned the band's manager has contacted the Pueblo for permission. But as our reporter Laura Terrain tells us, the story is far from over. It's a rock star controversy here in New Mexico. In just a few days, the LA based band Bad Sons is releasing its debut album with a Zia symbol front and center on the cover. Zia Pueblo officials told us they never granted the band's record label permission to use their sacred symbol. We like for them to ask permission, and if they could, donate some money to the scholarship fund. The governor just wants anyone who uses that symbol. After our report aired, Governor David Pino says a band manager called him and asked for consent. What I told him is that uh, I like to meet in person before we make any decisions on uh, finding any kind of papers. Uh, so he agreed and he even said that uh, he was going to come out and get a plane and come out and talk to us, but I haven't heard anything from him ever since then. Now, it's not just Pueblo officials who are upset about the use of the Zia on the album cover. Music fans we spoke to are also offended. Just, uh, I know it's disrespectful. James Bongard owns a music store in Albuquerque. He says flying out to the Pueblo to ask permission is simply the courteous thing to do. It's a beautiful symbol, but uh, it, it's theirs. It's the Pueblos. Governor Pino says he's still willing to grant permission, yeah, but only if he gets that in person meeting. Our calls for comment to the Bad Sons representatives have not been returned. Laura Terrain, KOAT, Action 7 News. New developments in the case of an eight month old 